Come on, let's bless the name of Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bless the name of Jesus this morning. Good morning. Somebody raise your hand this morning and just begin to tell God, thank you. God, we thank you for life. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for you being God. We thank you for being a healer. We thank you for being a way maker. We thank you for being a strong tower where the righteous can run in and we are safe. We thank you for being a wholesome God. Super, you just simply being God. Somebody come on and give him glory this morning. Come on and give him glory. He's awesome. 
know is the drummer. Turn that track off. Don't y'all do that. But it sound like to me somebody who's appraising a little bit. It just sound like to me somebody needs to say, I got to take this out of my head. And put it in some capable hands. Oh, 
with her when my future, my life is filled with gloom. So day after day, I just stay locked up in my room. I know that you, it might sound strange, but I wish it would rain. Some of you listen to Gladys Knight at the pimp. When she say, I guess you're wondering how I knew. Baby, about your plan to make me blue with some other girl you knew before the between the two of us. You know I love you, Mom. Took me by surprise. I must say when I found out yesterday, but don't you know I heard it through the grapevine? How much longer would you be mine? And some of y'all in the 80s remember Grandmaster Flash saying, don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Like the jungle sometimes, they make me wonder how I keep from going under. And some of y'all, y'all Mary J. Blige fans, I know y'all listen to it, don't fool me. She played a sound on the rain against my window pane that's slowly driving me insane. I'm going down, because you ain't around my whole world. But then there's another type of song that the children of Israel call the Lord's song. And, and, and the thing I like, there's a difference between R&B and the Lord's song. See, when you listen to R&B, it lets you wallow in pain and devastation. It lets you sit there and be sad, depressed, and in despair. That you might start off low when you're singing it. But in the nick of time, Jesus knows how to step right in. And you might start off low. But I have a witness that when Jesus steps in, he'll change the atmosphere. And that's why I like the Lord's songs. Because no matter how low you are, Jamil, the Lord's songs can pick you up. No matter how many tears you shed, the Lord soul will dry your tears. That's why I like this song. Y'all stay right there. One of the Lord's songs say, I was sinking in a sea of sin and shame. Jesus found me and he changed my name. He would have let me drown. That's one of the Lord's songs. He would have let me drown. Oh, he would have let me drown. Listen what he did. But instead, he took me. Y'all stay right there. That's why I like the law song. One of the other law songs said, listen. Love lifted me. And 
They say you depressed him in despair. And the lady said, I'm tired of seeing my daddy like that. And she said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my daddy some headphones. The nurse said, what type of music would your daddy prefer? And the lady said, my daddy will love some gospel music. Just tell somebody the Lord's song, the Lord's song, the Lord's song. And this man who had been sitting there unresponsive, head bowed down, and from the seizure and in depression, when they put on the song, I tell somebody something changes with no more. Get 
to block these entrances and exits to this church. Because if the emergency uh, vehicles have to get in, they, they, we need a path. They need to be able to clearly get in. So please be obedient and do not block these entrances beginning next week. Thank you. Hey Amen. Thank you, Brother John and Frazier. We have heard the instructions follow next Sunday. We're going to ask those of you, if you come in late, please just come down and park. We're ready for you to park on the side of here where you, the entrances are not blocked. Amen. Thank you. All hearts are clear. Wait a minute, we have, uh, this is Friends and Family Day, and from the Department of Hilltop. Someone just said to me that I own Reverend Boatwright, he's Nathan, you're both right. Is he here? Hey, Amen. Is Reverend Bo right here? Tell him to come forward, please. As he as he's coming forward, we haven't seen Reverend Bo right in quite a while. We want to acknowledge him. He served here and taught Sunday school and Bible lesson. Reverend Nathan, you're both right. Lord bless you, bless you. Let us bless this food. We want to thank the Hilltop faculty for putting together this beautiful, beautiful uh, friends and family and serving together every four Sunday. Not only are you getting your spiritual food, but you're getting your natural food. Amen. Can't nobody do it like Hilltop. Amen. Father God, we ask that you bless this food, that it be nourishing to the bodies of the people of God. Bless the hands that prepare it. In Jesus' name. Now, God, as we give to leave this place, but not from your presence, we ask that you give everybody the same traveling grace that made it here safely back to their various destination. And, oh, God, our good friend, Brother Joe Green, and his lovely wife, came all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, and stopped by Hilltop to see us one more time. Bless them on their way back home. And, oh, God, we thank God for the life and the legacy of Pleasant Heights Missionary Baptist Church. I was just informed by our missionary, Harry Felder, that Reverend Dickie Parrish is retiring today. 
And God, we thank you for his service. He's been a friend to my father and myself and the family. An ex-member of Hilton. We ask that you bless him, God. He's not retired from the from the gospel, but he just retired from pastor. God, I ask that you bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, God. Bless every senior pastor in this community right now. Bless Pastor Davis, God, that we will see him back in this pulpit very soon. And God, we thank you for what you're giving to do. Oh God, we have high expectations that whatever we pray for that's in your will, you will answer our prayer petition according to your word. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, root, and abide, henceforth and forever. And every heart says, Amen.